Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and test our app on a physical device. And how to do that is pretty much very straightforward. So all you need to do is to go ahead and plug your physical device um, using a USB cord to your computer. And when you do that, you'll be able to see um, your device show up here in your Android Studio. That is if you have already enabled USB debugging on your device. So before I go ahead and test on our physical device, I first of all need to show you how to enable USB debugging on your devices. So how to do that is very straightforward. First, we need to go to our phone settings. If you have never used USB debugging before, the first thing you need to do will be to enable your developer options. So I have actually enabled developer options on my device, but I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. So you're going to first of all go to about phone. So how to do that is by clicking on our build version for 10 times. So this is what I mean by build version. On this device is showing MU, MIUI version, but on most of the Android devices, what you will see is build version. So I'm going to go ahead and click it 10 times. As you can see, it's telling me no need. I'm already a developer. So I'm going to go ahead and return to the settings page. Back in the settings page, I can scroll down. So you'll be able to see either developer options or additional settings. So I'm going to go to additional settings and here we have the, our developer options. So you can now go ahead and turn on your developer options. And also you need to scroll down and look for USB debugging. Turn that on as well and turn on install via USB as well. So once you've successfully done all of that, then we are ready to test our app on our Android device. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to open up our Android Studio and as you can see the device is already selected so I'm going to go ahead and hit on play. So this will most likely take a couple of seconds to build. So debugging on a physical device can be very convenient most of the time because you might actually see most of the features that you're working on in a real device so that you'll be able to know if you want to make some other changes and just to ensure that the outcome at the end of the day really meets your need. So now our app is running on our physical device. In this way you can really see what you're building in a physical device. So now that we've been able to see our app run on a physical Android device, the next thing we need to do is to also test our app on an iOS device so that we'll see how that will look. So that's what we're going to be doing in our next class. So see you there.